Low key, I feel like I'm gonna get in so much trouble for these videos. But welcome to another reaction video of The Feels, my reaction series. And today we're gonna be taking a look at a game that is a part of a franchise that isn't really known in the West. I mean, I'm familiar with it because, you know, I watch Super Sentai's, Jap Japanese anime, you know, those third-party websites that upload Japanese anime and all that. I'm a, I'm, I'm a very avid anime watcher. So, or is it, or a connoisseur, that's the word I want to say. A very avid uh, anime connoisseur. And uh, we're going to be taking a look at a trailer for UFO Robot Grindizer, the Feast of the Wolves uh, reveal trailer. So hopefully they do this game justice and um, introduce it to the West in a, in a proper way. Because I got my opinions I want to share later on. Turn this up, hopefully. Like open world, which I'm all for. Who's that? Who's that? Collector's edition reveal soon. Okay, I'm not mad. Whoa, that was a mistake. Didn't want to watch DSP. Shout out to him, but they're working about him. So I will say this: the game having an open world look to it. I'm with that. I think that was the right way to go. Because you can't really go wrong. You can't really go wrong with like an open world setting. You just can't. You know, people want to explore. You know it has like a new sound feel to it. A lot of people really don't know about this genre. Um, this actually comes from, I want to say like the 1930s, 1960s, excuse me. This was like going back to like Mazinger Z and like back when like anime was when, when like robotic anime was kind of like taking over in Japan this was really like during those early early days of, of robotic animes let me see like when did Mazinger Z come out yeah Mazinger Z Nineteen seventy-two. Okay, so we're going all the way back then, and I, I, I believe this robot came from Mazinger Z, if I'm not mistaken. Grandizer, I think. I think this was a part of that lineup. Yeah, nineteen seventy-two. This is like going all the way back. Zan, I don't know if you guys can see that that good. But 1972, I would, have, I would have to flip the camera around, but, you know, that's 1972 right there. But, um, yeah, it, it ran from 1972 to 1973 in August, and it continued on after that until 1974 in September, 1974. But I, but I know that Grindizer comes from that era. Of uh, of anime, because I used to watch this stuff. Like oh, look! Even down here, I didn't even realize it. If you see down here, it says, you know, established April nineteen seventy four by Go Nagai, the original author of Mazinger's. Yeah, I remember that. And Devil Man too. Devil Man was a fucked up anime. Like, <laughs> that was like one of them, okay, I can't believe I watched this. Yeah, that, it, was, it was one of them. But it, it shows it right there, Mazinger Z. So, uh, yeah, 
I remember this. I wasn't alive back then, obviously. I was born in 88. So this was like, you know, a century and a half damn near before I was born. But but it's, uh, yeah, most definitely one of those, um, I think they're doing it the right way, for starters. Because, again, you're introducing it in a way that is likable. And, you know, robots, giant robots, you know, people are, are very familiar with Gundams in the West. So anything associated with, like, mech suits and large robots and things like that, people are going to gravitate towards. But the fact that you're putting it in a way that is going to be easily digestible, and what I mean by that is that open world games are always going to be accepted in the West. Because it's always going to be associated with having fun. Um, you know, and you being able to do pretty much whatever you want. And uh, that was just like beta alpha footage. That, was, that wasn't that was even the final. But the fact that they're making it in that fashion gives me hope that this game could actually do good. So, that's my opinion of UFO Robot Grandizer, The Feast of the Wolves. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward. I'm going to keep my eye on this because I actually want to see what they do with it next. And, um, yeah, so with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Peace, and, um, yeah, see you guys later.